Hello everybody, this is Alexandre from Angel Cartomancy and this is your weekly Lenormand guidance vlog. So I'm very happy to be here with you to read the cards and do the Lenormand for you. And I really want to thank everybody who had been um, subscribing lately to the channel, who had been commenting, and all the people who had also ordered uh, private readings with me. So you can book a reading with me. You will find the link in the description box below. And reading, you know, starts at 10 euros, which is very cheap for you to get, you know, clear guidance and clear answers. So you will find all that on my website, angelcartermancy.com, and also on my Etsy shop at alexandmusrockshop. And also don't forget to subscribe, to like, and to share the video. So, as we have done last week, we are going to shuffle the cards and, you know, uh, really hold the intention that we want to uh, have guidance and we want to have uh, information that are practical for this week coming up. And we're going to cut the deck and read the cut cards. This will give us, uh, like, you know, an atmosphere, an overview, uh, a big piece of what is going for, going to happen during the week. And, and then we will do a three card spread to get into a deeper insight, okay? So I'm taking uh, a few seconds just to center myself. As I shuffle the cards, I really hold the intention that this reading is for you and that you will get answer and you get guidance and direction with it okay so let's start I'm going to cut the deck okay so the two uh, cut card that we have this week is the bouquet and the key okay so these two come together is telling us that there is a successful opening but there is also uh, healing happening you know, it could be, you know, a relationship with uh, someone, a love relationship that really went, you know, not well. And this is what the scenario that the cards are giving me that, you know, there is healing occurring. Uh, you're trying your best to heal from the, the past wounds. Okay, so I'm going to pick three cards. And this is going to tell us the story for, for, for the week. So, we have the woman, we have the clouds, and we have the scythe, okay? So you will say, oh my goodness, these, these are terrible cards to have. Uh, let's, you know, have a close look at, at it. So we start with the middle card. I use what I call the focus card uh, technique, which is I start with always the middle card. You know, in any spread, I start in the middle and then see what is going on. Okay, so the middle card is the, the clouds. So the clouds is all about confusion, not understanding things. There is a missing piece of information. It's like you are in a fog, in uncertainty, in, in uncertainty. Okay, so this is what has been going on lately for you. Okay, this is our anchor card. You describe the situation. And this is how what have been going on for you. There is a lot of confusion and certainty. You know, have a lot of question. Okay, and remember that we had pulled the, the the bouquet and the key before that, and we were talking about healing relationship. And I'm really guided to say that you know these this reading is all about relationship with someone that you'd had in the past. Okay, uh, knowing that the king of clubs that is in the Le Normand, the Klaus card, is my card for an ex-partner, okay? So again here, this uncertainty is brought out by uh, uh, a past, you know, partner, okay? And we have the woman, which is you, okay? And, you know, the, the Klaus is just after the woman. I will put, put, a, put a picture down there so you can clearly see uh, the spread, how it came out. So you can follow along and also, you know, it's not only to have free readings, but it's also a way of learning how the cards, you know, react to certain energy and to certain scenario. Okay. So yeah, we have the woman and then the cloud. So showing that the woman is really uncertain. The person asking for the question, you viewers, even if we're male or female here, uh, because we're looking at, you know, general, 
we don't separate the genders we are looking at all and the woman becomes you know the significator significator either man woman or child and yeah you are in really in a great confusion about this person and maybe there is still um an attachment with this person you really feel that there is a connection and that maybe you're hoping that he will come back okay but what the cards are telling you ending with the scythe card the scythe you know has the ability to cut through even if it's you know it's painful but it has the power to cut through and it's really nice when it comes with you know negative card on the left because the scythe cut everything that comes from the left everything that comes before it so it has the ability to cut through this uncertainty and the cards are really advising you, the sign as a card of advice for the week. Please take your time to make a decision. Okay, you need to take your decision now. You need to be sincere about your priorities and about your wants. And if this person doesn't fit in your, um, how do you say it, in your uh, priorities and in your the way that you would like a partner to be you need to release this person the scythe is that you know uh, like siphoning away cutting away all that doesn't serve it's removing the weed from the garden you know and yeah it's time for cleansing it's time to really put things in order okay and you know if you doubt about this person you know go and sing some you know um conversation with, with, with this person to have better understanding, okay? And if you're thinking that this person will come back, you know, have a frank conversation. Put uh, a stop point, you know, to this again and again, turning run around. What the cards are telling you here is that if you keep this person in your life, no one else will come in, okay? Because the universe, you know, react like that. When the place is taken, even it's mentally, it will not send because, you know, there is someone here that is fulfilling this role, but not the role that you want it to be. Understand? So you need to clear the space, clear the place for another person to come in. Okay, so it's really a time to put things, you know, clear and neat siphon away the old, uh, remove the weeds from the garden, and really, you know, release that, uh, you know, uh, uncertainty. Remember that we had asked cut card again, the key and the bouquet and the keys, uh, everything which is practical, which is handy. Okay, so it's really a call for action for you. If you want this week to be, you know, a turning point in your relationship, you know, good or bad, you need to do some action. Sitting here in your chair will not bring anything, okay? It will not uh, result in any, um, in any, uh, like, you know, things happening nicely, okay? So have a great week, guys, and don't forget again to subscribe. I will really love to hear your, uh, your comments. And we are only a month away from the launching of my cards and also of my book, The Art of Le Normand Reading, which is a great book. If you want to uh, learn the Le Normand, use it as you know a tool for divination, but also a tool as coaching, because you have you know all sort of information well packed in that book, okay? So send your love, light and blessing, and talk to you soon.